and we are sadly all too familiar with how global warming can cause famine by creating droughts and stunting crops. But those effects are not just felt on land, of course, as a conference in Norway, which opened today, is making clear a clean and healthy ocean is a productive ocean. So tonight, in the latest in our Earth on the Edge series, we are focusing on the warming of our seas. Last year was the hottest on record for our oceans. Or to put it another way, the top five warmest years have come in the past five years. Our oceans absorb more than 90% of the heat trapped by greenhouse gases. This protects the atmosphere, but it is having a dramatic impact on the seas themselves, like the Indian Ocean around Madagascar off Africa's east coast, from where Penny has this special report. For these fishermen, the protests and arguments about saving the environment have come too late. Their wooden boats no longer return to shore laden with the fish they need to feed their families. This is the sharp end of global warming, a few fish from a day's toil. A way of life once sustainable has been ruined.